ready, Maria? Yes. In five, four, three, two. Y bueno amigos, estamos aquí en Bienvenidos a su casa y como ustedes se han de imaginar, estoy prácticamente en el cielo. I'm in heaven. So, quiero mostrarles alguna cosa que me llamó la atención y es esta preciosidad de tiara. So, we're going to be showing it to you and hopefully you like it, but what do you think? Is it a más fascinating thing? Um, and, well, hello, how hello are you there. doing? Good, how are you? I'm enjoying this beautiful thing. This is the uh, Pulse Diamond Tiara. Uh -huh. It was uh, made in France in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. It's got 1,198 diamonds in it. It's set in silver and gold. The gold's on the back, so when a person wears it, it the silver tarnish doesn't touch their skin. Oh. Uh, it was, the, the larger cluster the flowers, they're on springs. It's called um, in trim blanc. So that means when they, when the person wearing it moves, it'll it'll shake and shimmer so they can see the brilliance of the diamonds to it. Wow. As you can see that. Oh, wow. It was, um, it's rose cut diamonds. They, uh, the, fa the Pulse family bought it in the 70s and then eventually gave it to the um, Smithsonian Institute. Well, thank you so very much for, for this beautiful history and this amazing piece. So you kind of keeping an eye on it. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, amigos, pues, ¿qué les pareció la historia de esta hermosa tiara? Muy pronto les voy a comentar un poquito y con más detalle de lo que se refiere. Pero aquí nuestro oficial del Departamento de Policía de Tucson nos dio una bella explicación de esta hermosa pieza construida en a mediados del siglo XIX. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. And I'd love to, I'd love to take it back. <laughs> Can I have you guys stay right there? Go ahead, We're going to do